Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. It is so lovely to have you back and I do hope you are enjoying the content I am making on this channel. And if you enjoy filmmaking content, learning DaVinci Resolve and things of that nature, please consider subscribing for the channel. So let's get on with today's video. In today's video, I'll show you how to do muscle flashes inside of Fusion in DaVinci Resolve 16. I do love making muscle flashes and I think they are a lot of fun and they're not too hard to make either in Fusion. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Let's go over to Fusion. Okay, so let's get started with this thing here. So first off, this is just that we're going to work with and um, pretty basic. So let's uh, jump over to Fusion. So in Fusion, we're going to open our media pool, and then we're just going to drag in some muscle flashes. And this is just uh, still images, and I also have a smoke element. And I'm just going to push F2 to rename the link if you're using a regular keyboard. If you're using the uh, DaVinci Resolve Editor's keyboard, that is a function F2. And because that is the keyboard I am using. Okay, and then we can just rename our clips. We'll do the same thing again for this thing here. And um, we're just going to call this smoke and say, okay. Okay, we'll just rearrange things. So first off, we're going to drag down a merge node and um, we're going to add in this muscle here, the muscle flash, which is just a still image. Okay, and we're just going to find the spot where we actually want it to appear. So let's find something we want. Okay, let's use this one. Okay, and with the, the muscle flash selected, we're going up here to the inspector and we're just going to, first off, we're going to flip it around. Just going to drag this over our gun here and we're going to size it up a bit not too much not too little uh, depending on the thing you're doing of course and then we're just going to position our muscle flashes wherever we want it i think i'll do it around here and um, then i'm just going to maybe i want to do something with the angle as well so i'm doing that and then i'm repositioning the muscle flash again like so, I think that's good enough for Jess. Okay, and then I'm just going to go into the keyframes because I want this muscle flash to be a particular length. And um, if I do not change, for instance, the merge node here in a second, you will see that the muscle flash will just continue being there so i'm just going to go into the merge one I'm going to drag that to the keyframe or the not the keyframe drag that to the position i want it and then i'm just going to zoom in a bit here and i want it to be around a frame so now we have this thing here and again this is just maybe not the best uh, muscle flesh in the world, but for the tutorial I'll work out just fine. So now we're going to take the smoke element here. I'm going to drag down a another merge. I'm going to add in a smoke element here. And um, the smoke element is recorded on a black background and we don't really want that. So in the merge two node, we're going to go to the apply mode and um, up here, and we're going to change that into screen. So now we have a transparent background and uh, let's just go back to where we have the shot. Like so, and then we're just going to move our smoke element on top of this. And we're just going to give it a little bit of smoke, not too much, just a little touch of smoke. And um, again, with the merge two notes selected, 
can see the the smoke elements are coming out of nowhere and um and are really not helping us that much so uh, in the merge to note we're going to go to the blend mode here i'm going to drag that all the way down but first i am going to set up a keyframe and then I'm just going to go a couple of frames forward using the arrow keys on my keyboard. And then I'm just going to, again, turn down the blend mode. So now it will uh, appear and disappear, the smoke. And it's just going to give it a little bit of uh, realism, if you <laughs> like to call it that. So last thing I want to do in this muscle flash is actually to make the effect that we are going to get a light or a flash from the f flame of the gun, for instance, on our skin. Okay, so let's uh, drag down a new merge node. And again, we are going to give this a name again, uh, F2 or function F2 on, unless you're on another keyboard. And then we're just going to call this flash and say, okay, and then we're going to take our footage and I'm going to control V or I'm going to copy paste that. And I'm just going to uh, control V to paste it in. And now I have a duplicate of the first shot. And um, we're going to use that in just a second. I'm just going to give myself some more space. I'm going to add in a, another merge node and I'm going to put my copied footage into the merge and I'm going to take that merge node and merge that down to the flash. Okay. So now we can't see anything, but uh, we're going to change that very soon. Just need to find the right spot where the, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the B spline. We're going to add in a B spline. We're going to select that. And now we can draw a shape where we want our flash to be. So I think around the hands would be a good spot. And uh, let's just give us some more space. And then let's, uh, let's add in a, another one because we can add multiple in of those things. And also think there would be some kind of a flash in the face. So I'm going to add a another one and I'm going to add a last one just going to need some more space here and I'm going to push shift and drag that on and just release to connect that B spline like so and um, then for the last thing here we are going to I think there would be something on his uh, arm here his my arm here so I'm just going to make a small little one like so. So now we have all these things selected. And last thing we need is we're going to add in a color corrector. And we're just going to drag one in from here. And we're going to make that or connect that in between the media and the merge tree node. So now we have this selected. Okay, and now we're just going to uh, as you see, if we go to the extreme, you can see what we're doing, but we're going to give this flash a bit of yellow, like so. So first up, in the piece plan, we, we can do some things because we can make it a little more soft in the edges. As you see, like so. But we're just going to give it just a little bit. Like so. I'll do that in the spline as well here in the spline two or spline one and i'll do it in the last spline as well like so and then i go into the keyframes i find our flash and then i want this effect to start at the same time as the gunshot or the shot and i'm just going to give myself some space so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to drag the flash, which is a merge node. And I'm going one frame forward using the arrow keys. And I'm just going to 
make that fit. So now we have this little thing and it's really hard to see because it's so fast. So we'll go into the editing page here and uh, I'll just go back and you can see actually here what we did. So basically that is how you do a muscle flash in Fusion and it's just to continue to do the same thing to make more of them and you add some sound effects and you are ready to go. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there is a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.